So something real is happening, but we can't tell yet if it's a mistake in our observations, a mistake in our interpretation, or just something nature is surprising us with, such as a new kind of dark matter, a new kind of dark energy, or something else that would be really exciting to, to discover. Will the history of astronomy be divided between before Webb and after Webb? Yes, I believe it will be. As we approach the second anniversary of the James Webb Space Telescope's launch, its first 20 months of observations have dramatically reshaped our view of the universe. Yet, alongside its groundbreaking discoveries, Webb is also presenting scientists with difficult challenges, exposing cracks in long-standing cosmological models. One of the biggest mysteries still unresolved is the precise timeline of how the earliest star clusters merged into the primitive galaxies we now see across the cosmos. Welcome to Cosmic Chronicles, where we share the latest revelations in space exploration. For decades, cosmologists believed this process unfolded gradually within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. But Webb's results are forcing a reassessment of those assumptions. The prevailing view had been that proto-galaxies matured around 1 to 2 billion years into cosmic history, starting as dwarf galaxies that collided and merged to eventually build giants like our own Milky Way. During this period, known as the Cosmic Dark Ages, the universe was thought to be filled with a haze of neutral hydrogen that trapped the light of the first stars and galaxies. According to the standard model, this haze didn't clear until roughly a billion years after the Big Bang, when neutral hydrogen was ionized and broken apart, ending the Dark Ages. With this transformation, stars could cluster together, gradually forming galaxies and shaping the universe into what we see today. That was the consensus across nearly all models. But then came the James Webb Space Telescope, and with it, a profound challenge to our cosmic narrative. Webb revealed thousands of unexpectedly luminous young galaxies, some strikingly similar to the Milky Way, appearing far earlier than predicted. This discovery has left astronomers stunned, forcing them to question the very foundations of our understanding of how the universe came to be. If these galaxies truly resembled our own, their dazzling brightness would imply that they expanded to enormous scales in a fraction of the expected time. Normally a galaxy shines so intensely because it's massive, but these galaxies appeared at the cosmic dawn, when not enough time had passed since the Big Bang for such growth. How, then, could such colossal galaxies assemble so rapidly? And how could they radiate with a brilliance that, by theory, shouldn't even be possible? Astronomers have given them a fitting name. Too big, too soon. By all accounts, such brightness should only be seen in galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way. Yet these ancient galaxies seem to have reached that level of maturity in a mere fraction of the time. This paradox has left scientists grappling with contradictions in their theories, forcing a fresh look at the foundations of cosmology. In pursuit of answers, a team of researchers turned to one of humanity's most powerful tools, a supercomputer. Acknowledging the limits of traditional analysis, they built a model of early galaxy formation and ran extensive simulations. These models traced the turbulent flows of gas in the young universe, showing how it collapsed into stars and gradually structured itself into galaxies. By carefully accounting for the mass, energy, momentum and chemical makeup of the primordial cosmos, the team uncovered a potential solution. They suggested that stars in this early era may have ignited in sudden, dramatic bursts after long intervals of stillness. This phenomenon known as bursty star formation, stands in stark contrast to the relatively steady pace of stellar birth observed in today's universe. This unique process, the researchers argue, could explain the unexpected brilliance of the galaxies seen by Webb. Their findings suggest that the luminous galaxies from the dawn of time may not have defied physics after all. They could simply be the product of intense, short-lived episodes of star birth. In other words, the early universe may have experienced its own sudden, dramatic, let-there-be-light moment. When the James Webb Space Telescope began operations in the summer of 2022, 
Its deep field observations quickly started revealing galaxies at extremely high redshifts. These galaxies, glimpsed as they existed less than 400 million years after the Big Bang, appeared far more luminous than what the standard cosmological model had predicted for that epoch. This surprising brightness sparked claims that the model itself, where galaxies begin small and gradually grow through hierarchical mergers along the dark matter-driven cosmic web, might be fundamentally flawed. However, results from recent simulations suggest a different explanation. A galaxy doesn't necessarily need to be massive to appear bright. If star formation occurs in bursts, those stellar surges can produce intense flashes of light, making a young galaxy look extraordinarily luminous. Crucially, these new findings still align with the hierarchical growth model outlined in standard cosmology. Yet, Webb's discoveries continue to expose deeper issues within that framework. The first challenge is the existence of galaxies that formed extremely early on the cosmic timeline. To put it in perspective, if a galaxy emerged only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, then on cosmic scales it happened almost instantly. The Big Bang took place about 13.8 billion years ago. According to the established model, galaxies were not expected to form until at least one billion years later. But Webb has upended this assumption. It has detected fully formed massive galaxies residing near the edge of the observable universe. Among these is Macy's Galaxy, the oldest known galaxy identified so far with Webb, dating back to when the universe was just 390 million years old, astonishingly young compared to its current age. And Macy's is only one among many promising candidates. Ongoing observations could reveal even earlier galaxies, pushing the frontier of cosmic history further back. The second challenge, Webb has uncovered evidence that two enormous objects collided very early in the universe's lifetime, a discovery that raises yet more questions about how such structures could have emerged so quickly. That's right, just when cosmologists thought they had a solid theory for how and when galaxies collide in the early universe, the James Webb Space Telescope has thrown another curveball. This time, the surprise comes from the collision of two massive galaxy clusters that merged into a colossal structure. The event took place when the universe was only about half its current age, far earlier than our standard cosmic model allows. The aftermath of that collision is the El Gordo Galaxy Cluster, and its existence poses one of the strongest challenges yet to Big Bang cosmology. According to our current understanding, galaxies should first form individually, and only much later do they merge into larger galaxies and clusters. That process takes time. The presence of El Gordo so early in cosmic history is a serious puzzle. The big question now is whether this early, gigantic collision points to the need for adjustments to the existing model, or perhaps an entirely new one. Next, let's turn to giant black holes appearing alarmingly close to the universe's birth. When Webb peered at faint, red-tinged galaxies from the dawn of time, it uncovered a surprising abundance of swirling activity at their centers. These turned out to be sources scientists neither expected nor had evidence for before. The most straightforward explanation is that enormous black holes, each weighing millions of times the mass of our Sun, were whipping surrounding gas clouds into chaos. These objects are likely the ancestors of today's supermassive black holes, but their sudden appearance so early in the cosmic timeline remains a mystery. By studying these record-setting black holes detected by Webb, astronomers hope to answer whether they grew at an extraordinary pace or if they were simply born massive from the start. Even so, these findings remain deeply perplexing. Instead of uncovering swarms of smaller, rapidly growing black holes as predicted, Webb revealed an unexpected population of bulky ones. This may force scientists to rethink fundamental ideas about how stars, galaxies, and black holes evolve together. And then comes yet another challenge, missing heavy elements. Along with finding enormous galaxies in the early universe, Webb also showed that they don't follow the rules we thought they did. Using the Jade survey, astronomers peered back more than 12 billion years to track galaxies and their chemical histories. The most striking revelation? Ancient galaxies produced far fewer heavy elements than predicted, a sharp contrast to later galaxies we've studied. Previous telescopes simply weren't powerful enough to probe this deep, so the discrepancy went unnoticed. But Webb's unprecedented reach, 
back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, has exposed a break in the expected relationship between star formation, galaxy mass, and chemistry. Looking ahead, Webb is expected to operate for at least another decade or two, and its discoveries are only just beginning. Each new observation seems to rewrite a chapter of cosmic history, bringing us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's origin. So, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmic Chronicles for more cosmic revelations.